What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex. This is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk all about LGBTQ plus books. I have themed book recommendations and themed reading vlogs just like this one. Today kicks off my readathon, the Slapshot Readathon, which is a hockey themed readathon focused on reading sports books or you can just read whatever you want. And this week I'm going to be reading books about ice sports. If you happen to like books about sports or you're a hockey fan who also likes to read, definitely hit subscribe and follow my channel because I talk all about LGBTQ plus books and I am going to be starting talking about more sports books in the coming weeks and I have a fun video planned that is hockey themed. I'm very excited for this week of reading. I have a fun TBR um, but that's for another time. Um, but let's just talk about the books and everything. I had a crazy morning this morning because I have some personal things going on. So I was going to have a cool intro to the vlog where I like make my coffee and all that kind of stuff. But I guess that's just gonna happen tomorrow. It's, uh, it's like if life could just like let me do my things for just a couple of days like if I could just have a week where I can just do the shit I want to without anything getting in the way I would love that but I guess that's not what is happening for me at the moment um but this morning I ended up starting a Michigan vs. Boys and I'm loving it even though I'm only one percent in I feel like I'm going to enjoy it because I am writing a hockey book and I am just like this is going to be great because I have been wondering what high school hockey is like because it's so much different than the NHL. The rules are so different so I'm wondering how it's going to play out in this book and I'm just excited. It reminds me of my book a little bit even though my characters are boys, these are girls, but I'm just excited to read more of it. It's really good so far and my giveaway prizes came yesterday on Instagram I'm giving away a crafted van hockey puck bookmark and I'll have the link for it down below if you would like to buy it just for yourself but I'll have a random winner who will win one of these and I have two raffle copters I'm also hosting some sprints tonight and I'm just very excited this is my favorite readathon and I'm excited that I brought it back and was able to um but I actually got myself one of these so I'm going to use them throughout this vlog. I love this readathon because it brings a lot of hockey fans and just sports fans in general together and I just love that so much because as somebody who likes hockey I don't have a lot of friends who like it as much as I do. Like I love it. <laughs> if you're a constant viewer of my channel I just love hockey very much very deeply. Um, I'm very passionate about the sport and about my team. So I just like seeing other people who are like me because I don't really have a lot of people in my life who are. So I just like seeing other bookish people who also like hockey. So I'm just excited, especially for some people who say they don't know anything about hockey and they're just going to learn about it through this readathon. I think that's really fun. I love reading because I just love learning more things and I love reading books about other sports because I get to just learn about other sports that I don't know about and that's why I love reading because it just teaches me new things and I would not know a lot of the things that I know now if I wasn't a reader. My day is pretty open until five. I actually work remotely in book publicity for some children's books and nonfiction and and I have a meeting at five with my boss just to go over some things because there's a book shortage going on. There is a book shortage going on so definitely get your pre-orders in now. I just did it last night because I have a book that I want to read for a video and I was going to go into the store and buy it but that's not going to to happen. Like I just don't want any complications to happen so I just pre-ordered it even though I didn't want to have to but I did it anyway and then I ordered a couple other books that I wanted pre-orders of so it kind of worked out for me. I'm gonna go and get my filming done and I will be back later. Bye. Hello it is Thursday at seven o'clock at night. I just took a nap for a couple hours because I was so tired.
I worked for four hours. I just have a lot going on with work right now. Um, and so I had a pretty long day. Um, and let's talk about my progress on Michigan vs. The Boys. I'm on chapter 8 and I am 69 pages in. Nice. It is about a girl named Michigan and her girls hockey team gets cut from the budget cuts at her high school and she needs to find a new team and all of her friends do but she is left hanging and so she ends up joining the boys hockey team and I'm looking forward to what happens. Um, I think when you're talking about this kind of situation there needs to be bigger conversations but I think that this conversation is important as well. Women are not respected in the sports universe at all. Um, I see it all the time and I know that women's hockey is not as popular as NHL hockey and I also know that the Women's Hockey League actually has changed their name. I'll have it up on the screen because I don't remember what the actual name is, but I'm really happy that that happened because the way that LGBT people, especially trans people, are treated in the professional hockey leagues is disgusting. If you want to know more about that, I suggest looking up one of my favorite hockey players, Harrison Brown. He is a trans hockey player, but he had to retire so he could go on hormones. So if you want to know more about how the hockey leagues work and how they treat trans people, it's not very good, but if you are interested, I suggest looking him up. I'll have some links down below if you want to look him up or just do any research on that. So I'm kind of hoping there's some discussion of that. I feel like there won't be, but I just kind of wish that there was. I was saying on my reading sprints last night that it feels like a she's the man situation, and I am just thinking about it in terms of how I would fit on a hockey team with a bunch of cis guys. Like, I wish there was just, like, a trans person on the team. So, we'll see what happens. I know it's not going to happen, but I feel like there could be a bigger conversation there. But I'm enjoying it, and I'm going to spend the rest of the night reading it. I feel like I won't get a lot of reading done until the weekend, which is why I'm actually glad I started the readathon on a Wednesday because then I have like a lot more time. But that is my reading progress for the day. I just wanted to update because I haven't today, but I feel like I will just see you tomorrow. I don't really have a lot more going on tonight because I did take a nap. So yeah, I'll see you later. Hello, it is Saturday and I have finished my first book of the readathon. It is Michigan vs. the Boys. I'm giving it a four out of five star. I enjoyed it at the end, um, but I still feel like I could have had more. I just don't think it was fleshed out enough with the conversations that were being held. The one thing that was really bothering me was that she just gets onto the boys team with no problem, meaning that she doesn't really have to go through any paperwork. There's no precautions for her or anything set up. Um, and that does change throughout the book, but not as much as I would like to. Um, and just wish there was a bigger conversation around like trans people being in sports. Like I know I'm not always going to get that conversation in a book, but I think that was definitely left out as well. Um, it is a very privileged story, I'll say that, um, and a trigger warning for cops and like police. There's a lot of that happening. Trigger warning for sexual assault and there is also an instance where the character <laughs> is drugged. So if those are things that you cannot read, I don't recommend. But I think if you liked Beartown, you'll like this because it does have similar themes to Beartown. Um, and I liked it towards the end. Um, like the second part of the book was way better than the first, but I enjoyed that part. 
Um, it's not my favorite book in the world, but I did enjoy the conversations and I was invested at the end of the book, which is always good. Now, today is Saturday. It is day four out of seven of the readathon, and here are my plans for the weekend. Um, next, I want to read the Jordan Tutu book. This is for the challenge sweater, which is to just either wear a sports item or just have some sports related thing while you're reading. And so I'm going to be wearing my jersey while I read this. And I also want to read my graphic novel about the Lake Placid Miracle. So I'm going to try and do all of that today. Um, and I will update you later. Got my jersey on and I'm going to fulfill the sweater prompt by reading my Jordan Tutu book. So I'm going to do that and I will inform you when I'm finished. <music> my second book. It is 11 o'clock at night, I'm pretty sure, and I'm sweating. So let me take this off, even though I did read with it on. It's, it's hot. <laughs> um, I don't really rate books that are nonfiction, so I'm not going to rate this one, but it was a nice introduction into Jordan Tutu's life. I really enjoyed it. He's the first Inuit NHL player. Um, there is a trick warning for suicide and he talks about how he basically just plays for his brother. Um, him and his brother both made it into the NHL. His brother did not make it. His brother did pass away and he wasn't able to continue his time in the NHL so Jordan really took over that. Jordan's also an instigator um, or a goon, um, just meaning that he is more of the fighter and he talks about that. I knew him because he was a fighter, so that is what I've known of him, but this really just goes into some detail, like it's brief, it's not like a whole exploration of his life, but I think it was really good and I don't feel like I need like a larger book explaining his life after I read this one. Um, it just goes through his life as a kid and then how he got into hockey and how he got to the NHL and his journey was hard but really important. He has retired I believe but he does say he played hockey to inspire indigenous youth and he just said that he felt like such a role model and like he had such a big role to fill. There are a bunch of indigenous hockey players now um, but he is the first from his tribe which is the Inuit tribe and I just really enjoyed learning about him because I didn't know much about him. This takes off the sweater challenge and the Wayne Gretzky challenge and I would like to finish up my graphic novel tonight so I'm hoping to do that and I will talk to you in the morning. Hello, it is Sunday. I have about like a half hour until I go live for a reading sprints and my plan today is to read Anna on the Edge. I want to finish it in one day but I don't believe that's going to happen because I have some video things to do. We'll see what happens but the last two books on my TBR are Anna on the Edge and Firekeeper's Daughter and I'm planning to read my audiobook of Firekeeper's Daughter in the next two days so I am hoping to finish my whole TBR but we'll see what happens. So there are two days left of the readathon. My plan today is to read Anna on the Edge and hopefully finish it tomorrow. I have some booktube things I need to do like video stuff. I'm trying to get a video out tomorrow because I did not upload on Friday like I wanted to 
I just gave myself a break because I just have had such a wild week so I just gave myself a break um but I need to get that video up tomorrow so I'm also hosting reading sprints in about a half hour so that is where I will start this book and then I have Firekeeper's Daughter and then I will have won my own readathon. So I did read the graphic novel last night Lake Placid Miracle and I just gave it a three star because it was so short it was only 36 pages and I just would have liked to see more like there was more of like the game so basically it is the US Olympics where the US beats Sweden and Finland and they literally just beat everyone and I just wanted to have more context a little bit like it was just very rushed and I think it could have been like a longer graphic novel so I was just like oh that was it um so that's why I gave it a three star it wasn't bad but it was just too short for me it's basically just about the U.S. team winning the Olympics in the 90s um because they hadn't won since 1960 so it was like a miracle that they won which good for them um <laughs> I don't know um it's really kind of just not something I really care about so I think that's also why I was just pulled out of the story but that completed my challenge Zamboni so I'm going to start on on the edge when I start reading sprints and I got sugar cookie mix because I have a photo I cannot remember if it was for the readathon or not it might have been but I think it was just for like the start of hockey season where I made cookies that look like pucks and jerseys and I want to do that again so I bought the ingredients and so I'm hoping to do that before the readathon ends because I was gonna do it all at the beginning of the readathon but I just had a lot going on so I am going to host reading sprints and I will be back once I have more to say about Anna on the Edge. Hello. It's been a while since I've updated this vlog and I want to get it out this week so let's just talk about the end of the readathon, what happened, and the books that I ended up reading. I like to be authentic on this channel but I'm also a very private person and I said in the vlog that I was having a stressful week and I cannot predict when things are going to happen. Life just happens and for some reason, my life decided to go haywire when I was doing this readathon, which sucks. Um, but also the seasons were changing and I do deal with seasonal depression and there was just a lot of factors into the reason why I just lost all of my energy at the end of the readathon. I just had so much going on at that time that I just didn't feel like reading. I didn't feel like continuing the readathon, which sucks because I was so excited for the readathon. But I did get to read some really good books and I had a lot of fun. The giveaway winners have been contacted and their prizes have been sent out. Thank you for participating in the readathon. I really appreciate all of your support. It does not go unnoticed. It shows me what matters when I am just feeling off about how my channel is doing. This helps me realize that I do have people that like my channel when I feel like no one does. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will try and bring the readathon back. Um, I just have to figure things out. Let me know what you enjoyed about the readathon and if there's any feedback you could give me that you want so if you have any feedback for how I can make the readathon better, let me know. I really enjoyed doing the giveaways and the Instagram challenges. So just let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the readathon was and what you would like to add to the readathon. I know that readathons are not for everybody, especially when they are themed like this. I know there are some people who have told me they don't have people in their lives who like hockey and books, so I'm very glad that I can be that person for you because I am the same way. So we can just be that person for each other because I don't have many people in my life besides like my internet friends who do like hockey and books. So that is what my channel is going to be like. 
in the next few months. In November is when I will be launching my sports and books and hockey and books content. If you were at one of the reading sprints, I secretly told you what my new project is going to be. So if you were at one of those reading sprints, you know. If not, you can either just watch them back and find out or just wait until November. Um, I'm very excited for that chapter on my channel. So if you like hockey and books and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do. <laughs> and if you already have subscribed, don't forget to turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss a video. My social media is all down below. You can follow me there. So to wrap up my reading for the Slapshot Readathon, I read Jordan Tutu by Melanie Florence. I read Lake Placid Miracle, which I gave a three star. This one I don't think I rated. And I read Michigan vs. Boys, which I believe I gave a four star. Um, and I think that that was it. Honestly, pretty good reading week for me because I haven't been reading that much lately. I am still reading Anna on the Edge and I read some of it in my latest video where I had booktubers and book talkers control my day. So you can watch that at the end of this video if you haven't already. And if you stayed until the end of this video, comment down below what your favorite book you read during the Slapshot Readathon was. I would love to know. And if you have any feedback for the readathon, let me know in the comments. And I will see you all next time with another video. I have a Patreon if you would like to support me further. I'm going to be posting a video where I do a Q&A and I make some caramel apples. So if you would like to see some exclusive content and help support my channel, Patreon is the best way to do it. And if you can't, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe because it helps a lot. <laughs> so thank you again for participating in the readathon. Your support means the world to me. I will see you in the next video this week.